Well, good morning. I hope everyone's doing great. It is an honor to be here with you today. And I bet you are wondering why Google is calling all duck stars, although I think Jim kind of gave you a little tip. So the reality is, is open source has tons of rock stars. And we have made amazing software that's being used all around the world. And let's face it, we like when people use our software. It allows us to scale helping others, and it feels kind of good when people use our stuff. So the question is, how do we get more people to use our software? And the answer is documentation. And there's lots of research into this. This is just one survey from DigitalOcean that shows that documentation is the number one driver for uh, adoption. And it makes sense, right? Because documentation shows us how to use the software. And it also makes projects more accessible. So we need doc stars to write this documentation. But we have a problem. We don't have enough doc stars writing documentation, people contributing to documentation. As you can see in this survey, only 4% of the participants actually were contributing to docs. And that's a problem. It's a problem for Google, and it's a problem for our industry. And it's something that Google Open Source wants to address immediately. And we did research earlier in the year to understand what are the blockers for people contributing to documentation. And we found that there were three main blockers time, support, and reward. So as you know, a contributor only has so much time, and they're going to choose the contribution path that's easy and rewarded. And with code, that's what they get. It's an easy path. It's well understood. It's documented. And there are all kinds of reward and recognition programs for the rock stars out there. But that's simply not the case for documentation. And so we offer these pro tips to help encourage uh, contribution to your documentation and your projects. Uh, the first pro tip is to target your first time contributors. They are, um, it, well, it's a great path to make it just easier to contribute. Do you remember the first time you contributed? It was a little bit scary. Well, this makes it a little less scary offering this path. But if you do choose, to go this route, you need to give them a very smooth process to know how to contribute to documentation. You have to document how to contribute to documentation. It's a little bit meta, but it's really important. And we also have to um, take out the mystery of how to write good docs and provide templates, which is another area that we're working on right now. And then lastly, we need to make our doc stars feel valued. And we need to include them in the reward and recognition programs that our projects are offering. And we need to include them in the release notes as well. So we hope that these pro tips help you and your projects. Uh, and Google is starting to use them too. But we feel a sense of urgency around this topic. And we want to start moving the needle so that it's not 4% contributing to documentation, but 10 and 20% of our contributors focusing in this area. And so we are putting our money where our mouth is, and we have launched Season of Docs. And as Jim explained, it's similar to our Google Summer of Code. But with this program, we are paying tech writers to work with open source projects to help them with their documentation. And I am really pleased that this year, we're going to be working with these 50 open source projects. And we have just assigned the tech writers to them. So the work is just getting underway. And I am really excited to see what kind of an impact we're going to make together, and also what kind of learnings we're going to get from this. And we will definitely be sharing all the learnings with the greater open source community as our way to give back so that we can all improve together. And so if you are interested in Season of Docs, Google Summer of Code, or any of our programs and projects, please check us out on opensource.google.com, or you could follow us on Twitter. And of course, don't forget to thank a doc star, because we need them.